Epilepsy is a life-changing disease and often requires years of, at a time of anti-seizure medication. But not all cases respond to those meds, and now a new device is offering hope for those whose cases are drug-resistant. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez spoke to a patient whose life has been changed by this device. Haley? It is an implantable device, and it was FDA-approved years ago, but one doctor at Baylor told me that it sometimes takes years for this device to recognize seizure patterns and bring relief, which is why today I met someone who got this device implanted years ago, but is now able to declare he's seizure free. Michael Francis had uncontrolled drug resistant seizures. He wasn't able to work. He couldn't have a license to drive and it was more than limiting. It took away part of his identity. Former law enforcement. I was a trained driver as part of my job. He was diagnosed in 1999, but recently, because of this device, he says he's seizure-free. The device is the RNS system, and here's how it works. It is surgically implanted on the brain. It begins recognizing the pattern and location of seizures and sends a signal to make them stop. Smart device that actually is learning about the brain activity mm -hmm. and over time we are fine tuning the detection mm -hmm. so that it can be very sensitive uh, and also discriminatory from the normal brain activity. Dr. Alicia Goldman says patients typically still need medication, but in general, they need a lot less. And scans are a breeze. This is how easily they can monitor Michael's brain. He holds this over his head, and Dr. Goldman gets immediate feedback right in front of her. Because of all this, Michael has regained a good quality of life and independence. This is the photo he took with Dr. Goldman when he got his driver's license. Just having enough of of a level of control that I can have my driver's license back and I can do more to take care of myself. No, that has been without a doubt the best thing for me. The device they say works best in someone whose seizures are in one location in the brain. Someone whose seizures are coming from several different areas might not be a good candidate for this device. But there's something really cool in trial right now also going on with this device. Patients with depression and anxiety are volunteering to use this to see if it also helps with depression. Pretty cool, right, Lauren? Absolutely. Keep us posted on that.